Okay, what's up traders? So today, we'll be finally talking about Fibonacci retracement. So in our previous video, we keep talking about Fibonacci, but uh, we didn't actually get down to recording a video about Fibonacci. So today in this video, we like to talk about Fibonacci retracement. Okay, so what is Fibonacci retracement? Okay, for all those of you who are new, okay, Fibonacci retracement looks something like this. Okay, uh, if you're using trading view, the way to access it, it would be to click here, right? Or rather you click this and uh, Fibonacci retracement. Okay, uh, just a moment. Okay, so you'll see these levels, okay? There's many levels, okay? But the main levels are um, this level, 0 0.236, 0 0.382, 0 0.5, 0 0.618, and 0 0.786, okay? So what is Fibonacci retracement? Okay, Fibonacci retracement helps you to determine a uh, support and resistance level, okay? So um, if in this case, we draw it from the swing high to the swing low, then um, these are potential support and resistance levels, okay? Uh, do take note that we say potential. Um, trading is not so easy, you know, you just use one tool and you draw and you expect that levels will hold. Um, trading doesn't work like that, okay? But basically, these are um, numbers, okay? Uh, I don't want to get too much into the theory about uh, the, the, you know, the Fibonacci numbers, like how did they derive it? But basically, um, all you need to know is that the market looks at this level quite significantly. Okay, so in particular case, we found that the uh, 0 0.618 and the 0 0.786 are the two most important levels. Okay, not that um, the rest are not important, but if you need to focus, you would focus your attention on the 0 0.618 and 0 0.786. Okay, if you're in our um, advanced forex course, you realize that uh, we teach a concept known as the um, 0 0.618. How do we use the 0 0.618 to gauge the strength of the trend? Okay, so these are the levels. Okay, so the next question that we want to answer would be when do you use Fibonacci retracement? Okay, actually, the, ob the answer is very obvious. Okay, Fibonacci retracement. Okay, so retracement is, is in the name, right? So naturally, that means that we want to use Fibonacci retracement when there is a retracement. Okay, makes sense? So there's only a retracement when there is a trend. Okay, so maybe I just write it down here. Okay, what is Fibonacci retracement? I won't uh, write it down already. So when there is, there is a trend and you are looking for a pullback. Okay, makes sense? Fibonacci retracement. Okay, so naturally, uh, you, you you assume that there's a trend and uh, you want to trade the pullback. So take note that uh, this is Fibonacci retracement. So you don't use it in a ranging market. Okay, you don't use it to try to trade range because in a range, um, you expect price to bounce between the top of the range and the bottom of the range, and that's essentially hundred percent retracement. So that's why you won't um, use a retracement, Fibonacci retracement during a ranging market. Okay, so now the third question you are ask, which is the most important question is, how do you use the Fibonacci retracement? So uh, let me just show you, okay? Let me just clear everything up because uh, we want to keep, keep our charts clean. Okay, clean chart sequence, clean mind. Okay, so um, Fibonacci retracement, we always draw it from a swing high to a swing low, okay? Which swing high to choose, right? For example, do we choose this swing high or this swing high? That unfortunately takes a lot of experience, okay? Um, this swing high or this swing high takes a lot of experience, but uh, maybe in this video, we just want to share you the basic concept that um, you can use Fibonacci levels to uh, determine potential support and resistance level, correct? You find it in confluence with the market structure, okay? We made a disclaimer here again. Uh, Fibonacci levels on its own will not make you profit, okay? You need to be able to line up uh, you know, the Fibonacci level with the market structure and have a trading plan in mind when you're trading, okay? So um, let's just look at uh, Aussie dollar right now, okay? This is one of the recent swings. So uh, we'll take this swing high and this swing low. So you can see that the swing low over here is zero and the swing high is 100 or one, okay? so. In this case, just imagine with me, uh, you know, price came down and uh, you're looking to, uh, you're looking to short. So you know that this is a trend. So how do you know that this is a trend? 
Well, this is a high, this is a low, this is a lower high, and this is a lower low. So it's as obvious as it's get. It is a downtrend. Okay, so you're saying, okay, now I understand that it's in a downtrend and I want to trade a retracement up. So where do I trade? So you draw a Fibonacci level from here to here, correct? And then you just look at the levels, okay? So of course, all these are potential levels, but how do you know uh, which are the best levels? So one trick that we always teach uh, would be to uh, switch to a line chart, okay? If you have not watched our other videos about using the line chart, switch to a line chart, look at the uh, levels, okay? In particularly, we pay more attention to the 61.8 and the 7.86. Okay, so if you look at this case, the 61, it seems to be quite good, right? Because you have like one touch here, you know, two touch, three, almost three touch, three touch here, four touch. So this level seems like a very good level, okay? Mm, the 7, 8, 6 itself is also pretty solid. You see one here, two here, uh, and three and four, okay? So in this case, actually, the 7, 8, 6 seems to be a stronger level. Okay, so if you had, you know, place a limit order here, you were nailed the top, okay? But then again, I'd like to repeat the disclaimer, okay? This is not a strategy in itself. We cannot just draw a Fibonacci level and, you know, just say, oh, you know, I, I put a sell limit here, I put a sell limit here. Um, that will blow your account very quickly, okay? So uh, what you need is a full trading system, okay? In which we do teach you the full trading system that we use in our trading course. So definitely check that out if you haven't checked it out, okay? So this is how we use 786 and uh, 0.618. Of course, sometimes, you know, you have uh, 0 0.3, 2, 0 0.5. But uh, we found that these two zones are the best zones, okay? So this is how you actually line up uh, the Fibonacci level with the market structure to find out turning points. Uh, how do you trigger the trade? Um, that requires a trading system, right? Trigger the trade equals... Uh, how do you confirm or how do you like verify that hey this is a good level to short okay yep so i think that's about it for this video okay if you have any questions uh comment down below email us right we'll always create content like this to address your questions or any trading issues we have i mean we love to connect with you but uh, we need to know your problems so if you are new to our Telegram channel, right, because we recently ran a promotion, right, we are doing a giveaway. If you are new to our channel, right, uh, hit the subscribe uh, button, right, so that you'll be notified of new trades, uh, you know, trade setups or, you know, content such as this. Okay, so till then, we'll see you in the next video.